So for this one, you're gonna to wanna to see just the deprotonation of a terminal alkyne. So let's just pretend base, so deprotonate terminal alkyne. So what's gonna to have to happen here is something with a negative charge is gonna deprotonate that and give us right, the terminal alkyne of the lone pair negative charge, charge in SP hybridized orbital. So this is acidic, but it's not that acidic. And so the key here is to recognize there's only two types. It, you, you need something really reactive. So what we're really looking at here is periodic trends. So it's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, right? A C minus is more reactive than an F minus because carbon is less electronegative. So that's gonna be a more reactive base. N minus is more reactive than O minus because N minus and nitrogen is less electronegative. So it's going to be more reactive and hold those lone pairs less. So with that being said, this is carbon bind to magnesium. So this is an ionic bond. So that's really a C minus. That's going to be super reactive. That's going to be able to deprotonate. NH3 has no charge. has a lone pair, but no charge. So it's not going to be reactive enough. NaNH2 really is Na plus N minus. So those N minus is reactive enough. Carbon lithium bond is really carbon with a negative charge. That's gonna be reactive enough. Water, no charge, not reactive enough. O minus, certainly reactive, but not reactive enough. Right? Not reactive enough. So not so not that one. And then OH minus, not reactive enough. Br minus, not reactive enough. And HB heart's an acid. So that makes no sense.